hello guys welcome back to ses ldd deals if you are new here make sure you subscribe to our channel to get the best lifetime deals on ses software i'm back with another review and today i'm going to review catalyst storytelling studio so catalyst uses ai to turn your script into visual stories and you don't even have to write the script manually catalyst also has script assistant that can write the script for you and then it is going to turn that into visual story and once you get your visual story you can also customize literally really everything you can customize the characters the scenes the frames on that particular visual story and the great news is catalyst is currently available on appsumo as a lifetime deal the regular price is $228 but at appsumo you are getting this tool at only $49 this is a one time single payment and there are already eight reviews all of them are five star reviews so now let's have a look at all the plans and features so here are all the features and here are the plans that you can buy. So the tier 1 cost $49 where you can add only one user and you can generate 250 images per month. On the tier 2 you can add one user but you can generate unlimited images and license tier 3 costs you $199 where you can add 5 users, generate unlimited images and since you have added 5 users you can also real time collaborate with them in various projects. So if you want to buy Catalyst on a lifetime deal from AppSumo make sure you check the link in the description below also if you are new to appsumo you can get 10 percent off your first purchase watch the full video till the end to know how now let's go to the dashboard of catalyst after you log in you are going to get this dashboard and these are two projects that i have already created project means the visual stories that you have generated using catalyst so let me show you this first project so here is one story that i generated using catalyst and as you can see on this story there are five scenes and let me show you another story that I generated. So here's another one. So as you can see in this story, there are five scenes and you can also see the description on each of the scenes. And obviously I can add more scenes if I want. So now let's go back to the dashboard and let me show you how to turn your script into visual story. So click on create a new project. Now you have to provide a project name. And then you have to choose the art style. So the images Catalyst is going to generate what type of images you want. It could be sketch or it also could be cinematic images. So I'm going to select cinematic and then you have to choose the aspect ratio for the images. So it could be landscape, square or portrait. I'm going to select this square and then click on create. So now we have to provide our script and there are multiple ways to do that. You can write your script from scratch or you can also use the AI assistant of Catalyst in order to write your script. So all you have to do is just provide your idea on this box and from that idea Catalyst is going to generate a script. Or you can also upload CSV, Word or text file where you have written your script. So what I want to do is select this start from scratch. So now we have to write our script and as you can see this is the first scene so I have to provide the description about the first scene the script on here and once I have to add another scene I have to click on this create a new frame so as you can see now there are two scenes and in order to generate the visuals I have to provide the description on each of the scenes so I have already generated a script on Claude let me show you that. So here's the script that I'm going to use and as you can see I have generated this script in a way that it has 5 scenes or 5 frames. So what I'm going to do is copy this first scene and then paste it on this box and now according to this description I want to generate visuals. Ok so we have got our first visual and it looks pretty good and now we have to generate the others. Since I have 5 frames or 5 scenes on my script, on Catalyst I also want to create 5 frames. So let's do that. Ok so now we have got 5 frames. Now let's paste all of the frame scripts on these boxes, each of the boxes. Okay, so I have added the script on each of the scene. Now all I have to do is on each scene I have to click on generate visual.
So as you can see, we have got visuals for each of the scene according to the description or the script that we provided. And now it is time to customize. So there are a lot of customization options. First of all, on this dashboard, you can click on this on top and then you can modify the character. So if you click on this, so here are all of the characters that you can use for your visualization. So it is set to this teenager. You can also change it to someone else. And according to the founder of Catalyst, you will be able to use your own image as characters in your stories. But that feature is not available yet. So as you can see for this story, the character is set to this one, but I want to change it. I want to change it to this. So after selecting this, all I have to do is click on regenerate. Now all of the visuals are regenerating, which means in all of the visuals, the character is going to change. So as you can see, the character has changed in all of the images. So just like this, you can customize the character. And just like the character, you can also change the scenes. So here are all of the scenes that are used on all of these frames. So the first scene is on a city coffee shop. So you can even change the description of a particular scene and then regenerate that scene. So for example, this first scene is on a trendy coffee shop. For example, I want to change it to, to a donut shop. So now let's see what we get. So all I have to do is click on save scene and then I have to regenerate the scene. So let's see what we get. So just see how amazing Catalyst is. It has even changed the scene on the background. You can now clearly see donuts. So just like this, you can also customize or modify the scenes. All you have to do is click on a particular scene on the right side and then you can change the scenes description and click on save scene and then you can regenerate that image in order to change the scene. And there are even further customization options. So if you want to customize each of this scene, each of this image individually, you can also do that. Just keep your mouse cursor on a particular scene. For example, I want to change this scene, the second scene. So all I have to do is click on edit. And now the editor has opened. So on this editor, you are going to get some very advanced editing options. So first of all, you can change the position of the character or the person that is on an image. For that, you have to click on this on the left side. Okay, so once you click on this, Catalyst is going to track the person that is on an image with this tracker. So now you can move this tracker. So as you can see, this is how you can move this tracker. You can make this tracker larger or taller. And for example, you do not want this person to be here. Instead, you want this person to be here on here. So now all I have to do is click on generate. And let's see if we can move the position of this person. Okay, so at the bottom of the page, the AI has given us one, two, three, four, four images and all of them are really good. All of them have worked exactly how I wanted. So I move the position of this person and as you can see on each of the images, the position has changed. So now you can choose whatever image you want and keep that. And there are also some other options on the right side. So you can change various framing settings such as you can change the angle. So it is currently low view shot. You can also set it to straight on shot or top down shot. For example, I want it to make straight on shot and then click on generate. So as you can see, once again, the AI has given us four images according to the new angle that we set. So here are all of the images with new angle. So I think this one looks pretty good. We can also change the shot. So it is set to full shot. We can set it to medium shot or close up. Let's set it to close up and generate. Let's see what we get. Okay, so here are four new images we have got from the AI. So these are close up shots. And you can even change them further with creative direction. So on this creative direction, you can see this prompt. You can also modify this prompt, change it to modify your image. And a great feature on here is that you can even add new characters. So if you click on this character, so as you can see on this particular image, there is only one character. We can also add another character. So just click on this plus icon. For example, I want to add this character and I'm going to name him Jeff and then click on create. So now you can modify the prompt for this new character, which is Jeff. You can modify the prompt from this box and then click on generate. So as you can see, now we have got some new images with our new character, which is Jeff. So other than adding new characters, as you can see, I have added new characters. You can also add more characters. So other than this, there are also some other settings that you can change such as the scene. 
so as you can see here are all of these scenes that are on my story i can also add more scenes all i have to do is provide the name and description about the scene and then i can generate new scenes so after customizing, after changing the angle, shot, after adding new characters, changing the scenes, obviously you are going to get a lot of image. So you have to choose one for your story. For example, I want to use this image for this particular scene. So all I have to do is just select this and then I have to click on the sign icon at the top left side. Now let's go back to the storyboard. And as you can see, this second scene that I just modified, it has changed. So in the same way, you can also edit the other pictures. All you have to do is just click on edit on a particular scene or particular picture. And on this story, I have five scenes or five frames. You can also have more. All you have to do is just click on create a new frame. And one more is going to be added. So you can add as many as you want. And you can also edit the text on each scene from here. So once your story is ready, you can watch it on presentation mode. For that, you have to click on this present on top. So as you can see, currently we are in presentation mode and we can go to next image. Just click on this and then the next image and you can also change the view. So this is another view for presentation. Now let's exit the presentation mode. And once your story is completely ready, you can export it on zip file as a zip file. Let me show you this. So here's how you are going to get the zip file. You will get all of the images and also the script. You can also export your story as PowerPoint file. So here's how the PowerPoint file is going to look like. So there's image and then there's also the story, the text, script. You can also export as video file. So here's the video file and you can also copy the presentation link. So if you open the link, you're going to get redirected to a landing page. Let me show you that. So this is how the landing page is going to look like. You can also change the view. And you might also be interested in Catalyst Studios roadmap. So here's that. Here are all of the features that are currently under consideration. You can also submit your own idea, own feature. And then here are all of the planned features, planned features in video production and planned features in image generation. And here are all of the launched or completed features. So overall, I think Catalyst Studio is an excellent tool. It turns your script into visual stories and there are a lot of customization options. I was super impressed with the customization options. You can customize the angle, the scene, the shot, the characters. You can add new characters. You can choose between cinematic or sketch style. So overall, this can definitely be worth your buy if you have the use case. And if you want to buy it from AppSumo as a lifetime deal, make sure you check the link in the description below. With this tool, you are going to get all of these features and these are three tiers that you can buy from AppSumo. So if you are new to AppSumo, you can get 10% off your first purchase. For that, go to the link in the description. And once you enter the link, you are going to get a pop-up like this. And on this box, you have to provide your email. Then click on unlock my 10%. And then you will get a link in your email. Go to that link. And this way you can get 10%. You have to use it from AppSumo Credits gift. And this 10% discount is only for new customers. You can also join our SaaS discussion group on Facebook to get latest updates on SaaS software, exciting discounts and attractive giveaways just like this.